Okay guys, we're still on the throttle body injection, but I want to do a heads up between my old Vic Jr. Tall 2999. It's had quite a lot of work over the years. It probably flows about 320. We're coming out of our number 8 runner, just like we did with the RPM. I did not squirt uh, blue down it because I didn't feel like cleaning it and I didn't want to filth it up because it's pretty much done the way it is. I could probably do a little bit better gasket match to it and put it on anything I want to run. This I used to run this on the street in the Chevelle, the 383 with a 900 CFM projection. I used to stick a two inch spacer on top of the one inch extension that's cast onto it. I would probably never buy a Victor with the toll again because it makes it really hard to pour it out. FYI, you're better off using spacers. In any case, I wanted to give you a quick show of this because there's nothing to show you on the heads, really. It's still like the 27th cut, except I filled in that swirl ramp a touch with clay because that was a loser. And I forgot to show you the bigger exhaust port. I have to remember to do that on this video. It is Christmas Eve. I'm completely smoked from kid stress. So, this would be relatively quick, painless, guys. Okay, this is the last one you guys saw, which was the RPM sleeper intake. Did pretty well, actually, right? 249 without a carb. 232.7 at 600. Not bad. Now, remember, it's only a 770 carb. It's all I have in stock. So, this is same test, Vic Jr. 770 carb. How'd we do? Well, you got a minus and you got all pluses. Now, remember what I said in this video. I thought it was the second degree freedom that was giving this a boost in the lower lifts. Obviously not. Single planes don't have second degree freedom. It's just a highly efficient manifold because it flows like 320. The head doesn't flow 320. The head only flows like 308, I think it is, at this point. So it doesn't really hold it back much. In fact, I did just like I did here. I took the carb off and went to 49, right? You can see there was a restriction on the carb. Remember, it still has part of that divider up. So it's, it's sucking majority of its air through two barrels and then it's leaking some across the other two barrels. Take the carb off here, it flows almost identical. That was a surprise to me. I wasn't expecting that. That's strictly an open intake manifold without a, a radius or anything on top of it. So if we take a look, heck, 300, 197.1. It's only like 205 bare head, okay? And that's quite a big difference over the dual plane. Okay? In any case... I keep bringing Chad Spire up because I absolutely love his uh, super stock work. Forgive me if I get the numbers wrong. His two, his 172 cc super stock heads flow 282 CFM. No joke. And I forget if they, if they either flow 270 or 260 through the manifold and make five. 585? Maybe more than that. I'm sorry, guys. You'll have to look it up. Take a look on Chad's uh, YouTube. He's got he's got videos of it. You can straighten me out because I can't remember. I'm too burnt up. In any case, this is not super stock stuff. <laughs> it's a much bigger port, of course. It's, you know, instead of it being 172 cc's, it's 228. But it's still flowing a huge amount. Now, the RPM requirements between the super stock and this is going to be a little bit different as well. So, you have to figure that into the equation. In any case, it's the worst cylinder head in history. Just figured I'd put that out there. You know, why not? Take a look at our swirls. Our swirls are quite interesting because even though the ports are still coming in from the same direction, they're different size, shapes, and tapers. So they are going to affect our swirl. So how do we do? Minus, 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 plus, minus, 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 until we start to probably lose it on the short side. 
plus, plus, plus. Remember, this is the short side with the clay on it. It isn't perfect to begin with. And where would we be if we had a, a good size cam? 2,500, 2,600? As far as I'm concerned, that would be a great combo with that much swirl and that much flow. Now, that flow would go up if I put a little bigger carb on it. I'm not planning on using a little 770 carb. Hell, I run a 900 CFM fuel injection on the old work truck 355. And again, it's fuel injected. You can get away with a bigger carb because it's not depending on the booster signal. It's squirting it right in. I have no idea where to go to on these next, guys. Um, no air speeds. I wanted to show you the new and improved exhaust port. Let me see if I can get some light on that. Not that it's going to look that much different, but I did want to show it to you. Okay, now what can we see? I did make the throat a little bit bigger. Okay, we calculated that up last last time. I don't remember what it was, but it was a little bit bigger. It was like 87% instead of 85. Uh, the sides of the bowl got kicked out a little bit. Our radius from our seat down was changed a little bit. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Interrupted. Made it wider. It is thinner between the exhaust port and the intake port than it was. It's still plenty safe. And this whole roof got raised a little bit. You can see I did a crummy polish on it with a, a rougher sand roll just to put a little texture. Take some of the texture away, actually. Okay. The... Uh, the short side did get some work. It's a little bit lower. It's a little bit flatter. Aimed at getting the higher lift flow numbers. Okay, you can see I, I, I raised the roof a little bit. It looks a little funny looking, but uh, I don't know where my head was when I did this port. In any case, it flows pretty damn good. If you want to see what the flows were, you have to look at the previous video. In which case, this went uh, 220 something. Not bad for GM iron. That's just carved a bit. It's only a 1.55 inch valve, guys. Still a relatively small port. It's moving. Remember, small, fast exhaust ports where it's at. Even if at some point later in this project, Stevie wants to boost this or throw some nitrous on it to blow it sky high. The, uh, the exhaust portal still got it covered. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night. Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas. Enjoy yours. Remember, the best things in life can be taken away in a heartbeat. Enjoy, guys.